Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about my E36 convertible. Uh, as you can see, the car is in pieces. And it's been standing like that for roughly 10 years now since I got the car painted. Uh, as you know, life gets in the way sometimes, but here 10 years came in the way. I bought the car as a total write-off. It had been badly crash damaged, so there was probably not a straight panel on the whole car. Uh, even the, the fuel cap door was, uh, was dented. Uh, so uh, we had a lot of work to getting the car roughly back to shape again. Uh, it needed a, a small frame job, but uh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I got a lot of help from my old friend Steina, which is a certified body mechanic. Uh, uh, and uh, when I bought this car, I had a vision. Uh, I wanted the car to be a saddle uh, convertible, uh, just like my blue E36 Coupe is. Uh, but on this car, I wanted to do it a little bit, do a, do more uh, than I, I did on the blue car. Uh, I wanted it to be a little more like uh, subtle on the paint. So that's why we painted it white. Uh, the color is actually a Lamborghini color called, I think it was Impact White. Uh, it was a color from the Lamborghini Countach uh, and I, I chose the color because it was the brightest of the whites. So when you compare the original Alpine Vice 3 or 2 or whatever, that, that car looked gray compared to this one, or at least on the, on the, 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 the paint uh, swatches. Um, so it started out as a completely wreck, so we spent a couple of days taking everything apart pulling the engine interior and everything that was damaged was just thrown away. Uh, the big, biggest problem is I, I cannot remember which part was damaged. So now 10 years later, I don't know what I have. Oh yeah, you know, I should be more organized, but I, this is what it is. So I ordered a body kit from Seidel Tuning uh, down in Germany. Uh, it's an old school, um, body styling manufacturer uh, in uh, Bavaria, uh, not too far from Riga Tuning. Uh, and they were very big in the late 90s, early 2000s and making tons of, uh, I think a lot of people think it's very controversial, but uh, I was young back then. And I really loved it. Uh, I still do. Uh, for me, a Seidel E36 is like almost the ultimate car. Um, anyway, as you can see, the body kit is fitted, um, the white body kit is blended, uh, also the doors, as you can see, is um, it's missing its uh, side trim, and a lot of people just take up the side trim and then just add bundle or whatever over, that never looks good, so stay now. Uh, welded in some, uh, it wasn't CNC cut it plates, so we got the, uh, got it uh, very straight, uh, welded that in, and then uh, he used a lot of uh, body soldier or what do you call it, like lead, uh, used a lot of lead on the, to, to instead of body bondo or whatever. Uh, after that, we straightened it out. Uh, we, did basically the whole sides of the cars with Bondo and then blocked it out uh, everything. So it's, we, we try to get it as straight as possible. Uh, of course, with these kind of builds where there's a lot of Bondo, it can be questionable sometimes, but we straighten, 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 blocking, straightening, uh, added more epoxy filler and straighten it again added black uh, guide coat straight again so we were doing a lot of bodywork on this car 
the car as it sits now is lowered on FK automotive coilover kit. Uh, I used to have that on all my cars back in the day. I still do. I love FK automotive. It's it's kind of like um, an old relationship, you know. You know what you got, so why change it, you know? Um, anyway, the FK kits uh, back in the day had adjustable coonies, so that's fitted on this car. Unfortunately, it's discontinued now, so I don't know why, but um, on this car, it's 10 years old, but it's never been driven, so I would say it, it's brand new. Uh, the wheels, as you can see, is the wheels from my uh, E36, the blue one. Uh, actually, it's Schmidt CC line wheels. They are tw uh, 10 inch in the front, 12 inch in the rear. Uh, in the front, it's each, uh, have 245 tires, and in the rear, it's 305 tires. And believe it or not, it fits the body kit perfect. Uh, I tried 18s and 19s before. But uh, I just didn't feel it looked right on, on that car with this kind of body kit. Uh, because you can see uh, the fender line is almost the same height as the hood. So it's it's pushed up a lot. So if you don't, even if you lower the car a lot, you the radius on the wheel arches is exceptionally large. So 20 inches for me on this kind of build is perfect. Um, to have 20 inch that wide in the front on E36, it's you are pushing the limits. So uh, on the inner fender, and I'm not talking about the, the fender liner, the plastic, but the, the steel inner fenders need to be massaged a little bit in order to clear when you like uh, turn full over lock lock. Um, so that's done. Also inside on all the fenders has been cut all the way uh, the, all the lips are cut. Uh, that's something I didn't do on my blue car because I didn't know how it would be to drive. Uh, so we had some clearance issues and had to do that after um, we painted my blue car. And uh, so Harry did it before, so it's actually really nice. Um, the rest on the car, uh, it's got like um, blended rear fenders. So when we start in the, the front of the car, you can see there's no engine in it. Uh, it's been like that for over 10 years. Uh, I never like started to mount everything together because uh, after the car was uh, finished painting, I was burned out on the project, found all the cars and so on. So it is what it is. Uh, the engine bay is cleaned. Uh, I always say that's three months of my life that I will never get back, but uh, it's true. Uh, I spent a tremendous amount of work down here to get it looking clean and smooth. Again, Steinar was with me and uh, he was welding a lot of uh, holes. Uh, we also welded in a lot of patch panels to smooth everything out. Uh, this is something I remember back in the day was a huge thing in the X, especially in the Volkswagen magazines and so on you could always see like the cleaned engine bay wire tucks and all that and i thought it was so cool so i wanted to do it on on this car since it's supposed to be like a, a show car um, so everything was clean before painting uh, a lot of hours with the bondo and also a lot of with with the lead steiner was some lead ma uh, magician so it it's it looks very good if you don't know E36 well, you don't know how it's supposed to look in the engine bay. But uh, on this car, it's completely smooth and also there are added steel parts uh, to to flow better with the saddle kit and also the, the saddle parts and the headlight conversion and so on. Uh, the car was painted the Lamborghini white. We also added something called lightning effects by sem uh, american company producing custom paint uh, and they and and uh, we also added uh, some mini metal flake from uh, sem it's a company in um, 
somewhere in the United States who produce custom paints. Uh, we added blue uh, to the one of the final clear coats, so it gives it a little pop in the sun, but uh, you don't see it uh, in normal light. So for me, that's a cool feature, but uh, uh, it's also cool with metal flake, but uh, I feel like on this car, I wanted it to stand out without standing out. Uh, I wanted it to be like uh, more OEM colored, even though it's a, a Lamborghini color. So now we're down by the sides of the car and you can see the white body kit, also the, the missing side trim. And as you can see, it's very smooth. Uh, right now it stands on axle jack, so you cannot see how low it is, but I promise you, uh, it's tucking the 20 inches, even though the, the arches or the, the fenders have been raised approximately uh, 100 millimeters or roughly four inches. One thing I was very particular about on when I was building this car was to remain the original body line of the E36. Um, when you fit the, the wide fenders, actually they come with like a large radius piece that just approximately so sticks that far out and it, when you come up to the body line it will be like overlapping so you see a lot of these sail cars they do like the shortcut so they have like blended that in and then you you will see that that the body line is going here disappearing and then coming back i really didn't like that so i spent way too many hours yeah that's true uh, on getting the, the the lines perfect there. Also, we did um, we bond out the whole rear fender uh, and straightened it out for several times. Um, it was a lot of work, uh, but uh, sometimes you have to do what it's supposed to do to get the finish you want. So uh, overall, I'm very happy with the, the result. But uh, we will see when the car gets finished on the rear of the car. You can see that uh, it doesn't appear stuck E36. That's because we actually made some custom adjustments to the lights. Uh, and the lights are actually made into E46 as well. Uh, a lot of E36 I've seen with E46 conversion taillights, they have actually cut out the whole section. Uh, we didn't have that back in the day. so. We just got the, the light uh, mountings, the steel part, that inside, uh, and we did the complete custom everything else. Steina did an awesome job. Again, there are more steel and lead around the lights than the bundle, but uh, it, it looks amazing. It, it's like completely hand-shaped and custom-shaped. Uh, as you can see, the trunk also is modified. Uh, a lot of custom touches was made to make it look cool. Um, also, it was tons of work, but uh, I think when the car is ready, it will look awesome. Uh, you can also see the rear bumper. Uh, I haven't decided on what kind of exhaust system I'm going to have on this car. Maybe I do like on my blue car, like a just single twin on one side or maybe i'll do like a, a double i haven't decided so time will show we, we as you know we don't even have an engine in the car so uh, anyway i hope you enjoyed this video uh, please like and subscribe uh, and turn on notification if you would like me to make more videos like this or see this car in a future episode please uh, leave a comment i read all comments um, and also if you 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 like another kind of movie with other cars just leave it in comments and i i will make a new movie so until next time guys thanks for watching and have an awesome day peace out